Hello everybody. Now, back in the end of January, I think it was, just at the very end of January, I sowed my peppers and my aubergine plants. And every year it's, it's the same thing. Um, the peppers look terribly straggly at the start, don't look like they're going to pull through. And what I tend to do is, is go online and I order a few plug plants or a few grafted plants, whatever I can get hold of at that time. Now, I understand that those are going to be delivered later. So you just wait. And I don't order all of them, but uh, I do order a few just to ensure that I've got some. Now, my own pet plants did quite well this year. After that shaky start, I did order six pepper plants from a company called J Parker's. Now, my peppers have done all right. These were actually the second sowing. These are California Wonder. And these will make good plants once they're in the polytunnel and I should get some peppers of them. Whether they ripen or not is another story because we are far up in north. But the story with the ordered peppers from Jay Parker's is that they were supposed to be dispatching in April. Now, given that I'm a very busy chap anyway with a big allotment plot to, um, to manage and all the YouTube stuff, and I kind of forgot about them. But I would assume that if you're ordering and paying for something to be delivered by a company, that that would arrive, as they state, in April. So it, we're quite into the middle of May now. And the other day I had to send Parker's Jay Parker's uh, an email say look when are these peppers coming now I didn't get an apology didn't get an apology at all I just got a reply about a day later saying that my order was being put together to be dispatched and summarily that they were with the courier they were on the way and they've arrived today now here's the pepper plants in the middle of May this is what I've been sent in the middle of May. Here's my very own plants back when I ordered these. These should have been delivered in, in a decent enough time where I can use them. I don't think I'm going to get a pepper on these this year. I am going to pot them on. I'm going to pot them on now. Now, I could and I should and I will email them about this as rightly as many people are thinking now. Well, we'll email them, Steve. And do something about it. Well, I am. Well, I'm making this video, and once it's published, I'm going to send them the link to this video because this is not the first time it's happened. Admittedly, not always Jay Parker's. It's, an, it's a generalization for many of the online companies. I can remember a couple of years ago, I ordered some, and some of you may remember this, I ordered some daily tubers. I think it was Thompson and Morgan. And it was a lovely page, and they had all the pictures of the dahlias up there. And again, I think it was before Christmas that I ordered them. When it came down to it being delivered, because they didn't quite have the stock that they expected, they were starting to substitute it. So my carefully coordinated colour plan for the dahlia tubers that I wanted to grow was wrecked simply because they didn't have the stock. What had happened, I think, personally, is that they'd run out and they were just start, starting to substitute just to make up the numbers. And again, that's just another example. I feel that we're all suffering from these online orders. They're trying to get their stock together, trying to get their orders together, trying to get money out of yours and my pocket for something that doesn't even exist when they're selling it to you. I mean, these, these plants are ridiculous. They're never going to do any good. I will grow them. I will do my best with them. And we'll see what we get. But come on, a little pepper plant like that. I mean, that's in the middle of May. It's ridiculous. I want them to be planting these next, you know, in the next couple of weeks. These aren't going to be ready for that. And I say this is right the way across the industry. It's not just Parkers, as I say, I'm picking on them now. And I just would have thought that they would have been decent enough to say, look, sorry, you slipped through the net here. We should have sent you these in April. And they obviously haven't. 
And that's what's more annoying than anything. It's just that we've got your money, we don't care. We'll send you the plants when we're good and ready and you can like it or lump it. I just find that ridiculous. And I think something's got to change. So I shan't be ordering anything like this moving forward unless it's a reputable company that I know will actually do something about it. So having a little bit of a rant for it today because this is pathetic. I say when you when you compare these two plants, you know, and I ordered this when I thought this was ropey. And this at that stage was not even one leaf and looked particularly struggly and like it was about to die. But it's ridiculous. So I've got a few types of pepper this year, apart from the uh, the the rubbish I've just been sent. This first one, it's actually in flower, I'll have to take that off. It's called lunchbox. So these will be smallish peppers. And I've never tried to grow um, this type of pepper before, this sort of lunchbox. I've never, I've always been into wanting the big peppers for, for salads and to process, uh, to make either a pepper paste or just simply to blanch to put in the freezer. But anyway, they need potting on. I would expect to be putting these in the one of the polytunnels down at the allotments in about three or four weeks. So they'll do well with this extra potting on now. Let them start growing into this new compost. And as I say, it doesn't, it doesn't take a lot of work to do this sort of thing. I'll very quickly get work my way through all of these peppers. And I've got my aubergines there as well. I'm going to do all of those today as well. But there we go, very quickly. We've got plants potted on. So that's that variety. And what's the other one? It's an I know it's an orange one. Etiuda, I think. Etiuda orange. So I've got one of those, two of those again. Thankfully, these aren't in flower. The root system's looking good. They're just starting to go around the pot. But yeah, they're ready for, for potting on. If you can help it, you don't really want the, the roots going around the, the pot because they'll never get out into the soil properly. So this is one of the reasons why you pot plants on. So you keep giving them more soil to go at and to find the way into. So I've got all my peppers potted on now and my aubergines and these California peppers. I think these ones here in the middle, these were my chili peppers. I've only got three of them, but these are the little pathetic ones that Jay Parker sent me. And if Jay Parker wants to message me, then please do. But don't give me flannel excuses. We've heard them all before. So please do let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on um, online companies selling plants, what your personal experiences are. And, and I want to know both sides, so good experiences or bad experiences like I've had. I mean, it's not really a bad experience, but those plants shouldn't have been supplied at this stage. They should either have been a lot bigger or, sh or supplied to me earlier, as was the description on their website when they're coming to sell it. And to these companies, I just ask, you know, be sensible about what you're doing. Us customers want to buy decent plants. And if we do buy decent plants, we'll come back to you and buy from you again. So it's in your best interest to su supply us good plants, continued custom. So please do let me know. And I want to know the stories also, of the good companies who have bent over backwards where nothing is too much trouble for them to if there is a problem and it's a genuine mistake, what they will do to rectify the problem to your satisfaction. So do let me know about that. But for today, that's it. Look after yourselves, everyone. Stay safe and I'll see you all very, very soon. Tarana.